what is going on guys? It is your boy Setsu here, bringing you guys another Photoshop tutorial. I think this week is going to be one of the best weeks I've had in a very long time, or like at least the most hype behind like getting to Friday, because I told you guys on Friday, uh, last Friday or whatever, that I'm actually making a completely new setup, a completely new room setup. I'm actually going to be making a video about it, so it's either going to be posted on Friday or Saturday, because I know I'm going to record it on Friday, and I'll know if I'm going to like a lot of things to do. I'm going to have to put everything together, you know, whatever. I'm going to go to like the mall, like Target, to get some things that I need from Target, like these cool little 3D wall mounts or whatever for like speakers and such. Uh, all that stuff. I'm going to have to go like forever... So maybe I'll do like a cool little day in life slash like kind of like setup video, uh, you know, uh, time lapse kind of thing. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know you will see like me and my setup on Friday or Saturday. Not really sure which one, but it's going to be super gosh darn sick. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. The support is coming back through with the crazy likes and such. So I really do appreciate that last uh, uh, video you smashed in like the first day. So it was a very, very good feeling. So don't forget guys, 200 likes on the video equals the secret down below. Uh, of course, I already just put this PSD in with the nice little CC that I have done here. So that's what today's video is going to be about, and that's going to be doing on Monday, uh, or, you know, Friday or whatever. So I'm just really, really excited. It's going to be a very good, like, week. I, it's probably going to go so gosh darn slow, though, because I know I need to get that stuff. Like, this, I don't know. I'm getting, like, cool, like, I don't know. I want to tell you guys. I want to keep it a secret. But all, all of my Twitter does know a couple things in there because uh, I hinted it away. But, all right, cool. So for the CC today, we're going to be actually doing, or for the video today, we're actually doing a cool CC. I know you guys, I know I have, like, a, a lot of, like, sports, like, you know, uh, editors or, like, sports, like, you know, pictures whoever likes making like wallpapers and such like that so CC's is one of the most like crucial things of making a wallpaper probably like the first maybe like 90% of wallpapers are the color correction um so like I'm gonna go ahead and just do uh, show you guys this really cool one uh, you can see it here this is what it looks like it looks pretty gosh darn badass um it just over it just fills everything it just looks really really nice uh it almost like changes the picture entirely but of course it doesn't but um what I mean by that is just like takes Nice colors out. You can see the green. You can see the nice navy blue or dark blue. However you want to call that blue. I suck at colors and naming them. But you can see it looks really, really nice. And also, with this kind of like style of CC, if I show you this in a second, let me just show you really, really quickly. If I use the magnetic, yeah, magnetic lasso. Because I don't want to use it a pen tool right now. I'm just going to pen tool this or I'm just going to, I would pen tool this out if I was doing it correctly. I'm just going to use the magnetic tool just to uh, uh, save some time. But let's just say if you were doing like a cool, like, you know, uh, design for a wallpaper or like you know you did it for yourself for like some kind of like header social media design or like for a website design or for the person or whatever you want to do you don't have to use the entire picture itself you can use like um I don't know, you can just use him as like a person but with a simple black background and a CC that looks like this or at least the CC I'm going to show you guys today with a combination of it you can get this pretty cool look if I just cut this out and I have him cut out right I just cut this out you can see this right here of course is very simplistic but you can see this really nice simple dark style theme with like the person or if you had like another picture maybe in the background or something like that corresponds to the other picture of yourself or another person whatever you're just you're trying to like get what i'm trying to understand here this cc is creating that entire effect that entire really nice atmosphere of like this really nice black background and a really nice cc to go with it so you can see here a simple uh, by the way the background of this color just so you guys want to know it's all twos actually um, so if that's for the hex code, but if we put a nice little black background with that and like a nice picture and with this color correction, it looks pretty badass. I cannot lie. It changes that black, gives it the gradient that's actually in this CC itself. And it looks overall like really, really nice. So, all right, cool. So we're going to actually get started right now. We can just go back. We can delete that as well. Uh, let's just change this because, you know, ah, so sweet, Q, follow me. Yeah, I always do that. All right, cool. So. For the color correction, we're actually going to start this off right now. So go ahead. We're just going to do this little, uh, this little make a new group here. We're just going to click on that. And we're going to call this enhance, uh, enhance color correction. That's what we'll call it. Oh man, I missed the O. All right, boom. All right, cool. So right, we're, right now we have this little group here. We can actually go to this little half circle down here. These are your adjustments. And we're going to start this off with a simple brightness and contrast. So, I always start this off with a simple brightness and contrast. I always make the brightness a little bit less. Uh, like, yeah, I don't know. Like, of course, if you're taking a picture with, like, a DSLR or whatever. I know I'm taking photography one next semester, too. Probably, like, completely out of the blue. I'm just, like, I don't know. I just know I'm going to, like, cr like crush it when it comes to editing photos. Just because I, like, know so much of these combinations of CCs and such. I don't want crazy brightness here. So, I'm going to lower the brightness down to maybe about... Negative 20 or so, or I'll say negative 20. Why not, right? Uh, not too much or whatever. Not it's like I'm not trying to mess up the picture of the quality or whatever. So I'm going to also put the contrast up. Of course, the contrast makes our colors nice and dark. It's kind of like a, a, a like an S-curve within itself. 
but we're going to be doing an S-curve after this anyway. So I'm going to put the contrast to about maybe a... I'll put it for like a, to a 10 for now, just for now. All right, cool. So after the brightness and contrast, I'm going to go ahead and use the curve. So I'm gonna, like I said before, I'm going to be using an S-curve. So what that means is basically making an S out of your curve. So you're going to make it like a, you know, it goes up here and it goes down this way here. I'm not going to do too much. So the bottom left, I'm going to th like throw this down just a little bit for now. And then for the top one, I'll put this a little bit more higher. So it's an F, uh, S curve still, but it's a little bit, you know, you know, more on the top part. I, I always like to do that. I always like to start off like that. You can see it right away. It gives a really nice look to it already. It starts to pull out some colors, make it look more high quality. And, you know, so after this little curve here, we can go to, like, the main thing. That, like, the main part of that makes a CC a really great CC. That's exposure. I always talk about it. I never really use it uh, too much, like, in the past. If I knew... Like, I would be killing it right now. I don't know. I'd just be, like, so more enhanced with, like, CC and color corrections and stuff like that. But the exposure here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this about maybe in a negative 25-ish or negative 20 for now. This is just, like, of course, you can play it around with yourself. This is, like, making your darks a little more darker, uh, more of, like, a sheet kind of. So, like, it's kind of like a sheet of black if you go this way, right? See that what I mean there? And, like, more of a sheet of white if I go this way. I want more of a sheet of black. So I'm going to go ahead and just put you know, negative 20 or negative point 20, right? And I'm, all right, so for now like that, that's gonna that's gonna look good. So it gives a nice little simple negative black sheet that goes through the entire picture. It looks pretty nice so far. So for the offset right now, I always start off with 0. 0.5 or 0. 0.05, excuse me. And that's just like to put another like simple white sheet over it as well. But with this offset, uh, I'm gonna put it actually 0. 0.6. Let's see what that looks like. All right, cool. All right, for the gamma correction, uh, with the gamma correction and offset, there's little two combinations here. If I just put the gamma correction up, which means it's kind of going down in that way, but if I just put this up to maybe about 0.5 or so, you get this really nice look. I'm actually going to put it to 0.5 uh, or 0 0.5, 0 0.5. All right, 0 0.5.1, whatever. 0 0.51 is what I have for the gamma correction here. And you can see with this alone, if I just uncheck this, it completely kind of like flattens out the image or makes this whole entire picture look more like a like a design not no longer a picture you can kind of like see that it's pulling out some really nice colors here um overall it just puts like a really nice sheet that puts everything on a one tone which looks really badass and i just love how exposure looks i don't know why i never used it before i always say it. i just really wish i knew about it beforehand but after the exposure we're gonna go ahead and put a simple gradient map on so i'm actually gonna make the this uh first one here black and it's not going to be crazy black. I'll just make this, uh, we'll put this for 1E, e, 1E, e, 1E. E. That's the black we're going to use for that. So for the hex code there, you can do that. And then for the second one here, this little second color picker here, we're just going to go ahead and just put this on a nice little offset gray here, which makes it a nice little black and white. If you ever want to keep it black and white, that's how you would do it. Or you can just lower like a saturation on human saturation. But gradient maps is always the best way to make something black and white. That's if you want to. But with this here, we're gonna go ahead. And, you're just gonna go ahead and click on this little this little white sheet here. This little white thumbnail. It's actually your mask thumbnail, which actually holds the uh, the the layer with like the the like the thing that we have on right here. It's a gradient map. So once I click on this, this will allow me to go ahead and go to the elliptical tool here. Uh, this is the first tool in like the toolbar here, or the second tool, excuse me. It's called the elliptical marking tool, and we're gonna make a circle. So we're gonna hold shift. And while holding shift, we can actually make a perfect circle. So if I just want to make a perfect circle here without holding shift, it'd be pretty difficult because it's like, I don't know if this is the same width or whatever, but holding shift will automatically allow me to always make a perfect circle. No matter if I, uh, you know, up and down or whatever, it's always going to make a perfect circle for me. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and make a nice little circle. I'm going to click uh, and click off and then let go of shift and I'll put it near the middle or so. And then what I'm going to do is while I'm selected on this little white thumbnail sheet, I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. So... Now with this, you can see we have this very just odd, you know, just, you know, different, you know, black and white. And we have a color in the inside or whatever. Um, I'm just going to put this up a bit. I want the focus to be up here. But with this, before I do anything else, I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to put my Gaussian blur up to about maybe seven pixels or so. That's a pretty good transition. Or maybe eight. Eight looks pretty good. Okay. All right. We'll go with eight. Eight pixels or so. Press OK. This will give us a really nice transition for like a nice little circle on the like in the inside part and then just have like a really nice you know i don't know just overall like different tones to show off him rather than like showing anything off in the background or whatever you can move the circle wherever you kind of want it but i'm gonna keep it there for now it looks pretty good i'm gonna actually change this to maybe about uh to maybe color uh i said maybe about maybe soft light or overlay we'll go with soft light for now we'll just lower this down a bit 
Uh, that looks pretty good just like that. You can see here that there is a circle here that's really nice focused on like the person and maybe like from like the naked eye or whoever didn't design or whatever wouldn't really be able to see this circle but they would understand like how is this like guy so focused in it's because it's like a very nice simple uh, gradient with a circle and it looks pretty nice right so cool after this gradient map here we're just gonna go ahead and go to vibrance right so in our little half circle here vibrance and we'll just change this to we'll just do negative 20. this kind of like softens the colors up a little bit Kind of like gives a nice little, I don't know, like, I don't know, I want to, I kind of want to make my colors look a bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and just lower my vibrance down, just for now. This will be a reason in a few. But also I'm going to put my, uh, I'm going to put my saturation up as well. So I'm going to put this up to maybe about, let's just go to 10, just for now. Kind of like, you can see, of course, you put it up more. I don't want to bring too many colors out, that looks really disgusting in all honesty. But maybe even 25 wouldn't look too bad. You can kind of see the, the ball looking a little bit better, like you can see here. Like looks it a little bit better because that like little highlight that it has on the ball kind of pops out a bit. I don't know though. I'm gonna keep it just on 12 for now. I think that looks pretty good. So after the vibrance, I'm gonna think I'm gonna end this off with a simple another uh, gradient map here actually. So we'll go here and we'll do the same thing. We'll put this on 1e, 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 and then for this one, I'm gonna make this offset white again. And then after this, all we're gonna do is lower our opacity down about 50%, and we're gonna go ahead. And maybe after, let's see, what do I want to do here? Actually, we'll just make this black. Hmm. We'll do that there. All right, let's see what other things look like. Overlay, overlook's pretty good, I think, right? I think overlook's pretty nice. Kind of like brings it out a little bit. Put about 45, why not? All right, cool. So I kind of like how this is looking so far. It's looking really nice. Uh, the gradient overlay kind of like finishes it off because that makes those darker colors look really, really nice. And you can still see the circle here, sort of like circles that's going on around. It looks really, really nice as well. But what I'm going to do one last thing actually is going to make a new layer. I'm going to use a soft brush here, like a simple hard, zero hardness. A pretty good size is going to cover your entire canvas a bit. And I'm just going to click one good time on the top. And I do this a lot, so you guys already know how to do it. But I'm just going to click just like so, uh, just to make some leak light come from the top to bottom. Now you can keep it like this. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't really like how this looks anymore. But what I'm going to do for myself is I'm going to lower my opacity down to maybe about mm, 15 or so. And kind of just like you can see that it gives it like the perfect amount of light that you kind of like really want. And not like over dramatic where you kind of see, the, of course, there's like, a, uh, there's like a brush on the top or whatever. Uh, you really can't tell that there's a, like a brush coming down from the top. Of course, you turn it off. You, get, you can argue whatever looks better. I always like how this looks rather than this. Um, so I put it a little bit lower. Why not? 12. Uh, I do like how this looks, but pretty much that would be the color correction. Now, if you want to do anything else with the picture itself, uh, you can go ahead and Control J to duplicate it. Uh, duplicate the picture just like so. Maybe blur it, right? Gaussian blur. Not an incredible amount of blur like this. Just one pixel is good enough for some simple blurring. And what I can do is just make sure I don't have him blurred out. I'll make sure I erase around him. Make sure I erase his elbow. I'll make sure I can erase this here. Now, if you want to be incredibly perfect, you can actually pen tool this out and then just press delete on your keyboard, and that will allow you to delete things. Uh, like, you know, I'm just erasing just because I want to make it fast, but maybe I'll make some of his grass a little bit, you know, blurred, like over here, but near his feet. I make it nice and, you know, crisp or whatever, right? Why not? Uh, just like so. Oops. Just like that, right? I have some grass on the bottom here and this blurred over here. Uh, people are blurred out over here, like, uh, originally in the photo, but if you didn't have any blurring out in the original of the photo, so that pulls him out, I'd probably do that immediately, probably the first thing you would probably do. But you can see here, that looks pretty cool, uh, pretty good, so what I'm going to do is just put in Russell uh, Wilson. Did I spell it right this time? I think so. Alright, I hope I spelled it right. If I didn't, whoops. But you can see here, I can put this wherever you want it, I'll just put it here for now. Russell Wilson. And then this is a pretty good badass CC. Like I said before in the beginning, if you wanted to use like a cool little you know design aspect of it using like as a header or the CC as like a header design with like a some black background and start adding social medias and stuff like that, and that would look insanely nice itself. Um, whatever you, if you ever want to like just only have the CC on the picture itself, you can also do that. I think you just click mask this on. Uh, if not, then whoops, I just did not mean to say that, but you know whatever. But you know I don't know if I don't know you really can't click mask that. I thought you'd be able to. Kind of sucks. No, nope, yeah, that wouldn't really work. I want to clean mask that onto that. But if you want to probably do that, I know you can clean mask. Like if you put this inside, 
Uh, if you put this, the picture inside the group, is it inside the group? It is. And you can right click, and I can clip mask all these like this if I wanted to, just so I can make sure that the picture only has the color correction. That's only if you want the picture to only have the color correction and not the entire thing. So you can do that if you want. I'll just delete that really quick. But that's just because if you want, like, you know, to keep just the everything else to be the same or whatever and, like, you know, only have the picture as the color correction, that's how you would do it. You'd pretty much just allow all these little uh, adjustment layers to be click mask onto the picture itself. And then you're pretty much golden. And after this is all coming the design stuff, part of it, you can do some really cool designs. Uh, most stocks look really, really nice on this CC uh, correction, uh, like the, the way it's set up. So I, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video today. And I really can't wait for you guys to see my setup. It's going to be incredibly awesome. Like, I really, really, really... Really can't wait. I don't know if I should I get into a chair because this one squeaks a lot. I don't know. But all right. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. So switch you out. Peace. Please enjoy your Monday and enjoy the rest of your week until Friday or Saturday whenever I post my next video. I'll talk to you guys later. So switch you out.